Exercise 5. Harper Company reported the following current year purchases and sales data for its only product. We're asked to determine the costs assigned to ending inventory and a cost of goods sold using FIFO. We begin with 80 units in inventory at $12 per unit. The value of beginning inventory is $960. January 10th, we sell 72 units to our customer at $40 per unit. We remove the first 72 units from the database, 72 units at $12 per unit. Cost of goods sold on January 10th, $864. We've used 72 units of the beginning inventory, leaving us with 8 units at $12 per unit. Cost of goods sold, 864, drops the ending inventory balance to 96. March 14th, purchased 200 units at $17 per unit. We add 200 units to the Units T account and $3,400 to the Dollar T account. The balance in inventory increases to $3,496. March 15th, sell 115 units. At this point in time, the first 115 units would be the remaining 8 units from beginning inventory at $12 per unit, which eliminates the beginning inventory layer, and an additional 107 units from the 200 units purchased on March 14th. Of the 200 units, we've eliminated 107, leaving us with 93. Cost of goods sold on March 15th is $1,915. 8 multiplied by 12 is 96, and 107 multiplied by 17 is 1,819. When we subtract cost of goods sold, 1,915, Ending inventory is 1581 July 30th, purchased 320 units at $22 per unit. We add 320 units to the Units T account at $22 per unit and add $7,040 to the Dollar T account. This brings the balance in inventory up to $8,621. October 5th, sell 240 units. We eliminate the first 240 units from the database. At this point in time, the oldest units would be the 93 units remaining from the March 14th purchase, at which point that layer has been eliminated, and an additional 147 units from the purchase of July 30th. Of the units purchased on July 30th, 320 units minus 147 units, 173 units remain. Cost of goods sold for the October 5th sale is $4,815. 93 multiplied by 17 plus 147 multiplied by 22. When we subtract $4,815, ending inventory drops to 3806 On October 26th, purchased 480 units at $27 per unit. We add the units to the Units T account and $12,960 to the Dollar T account. This brings the balance in inventory up to 16,766. The ending inventory consists of 653 units, 173 units at $22 per unit, plus 480 units at $27 per unit. Total cost of goods sold, 7,594. Had the company been using LIFO, we still begin with 80 units at $12 per unit. $960 is the value of beginning inventory. January 10th, we sell 72 units at $40 per unit. We eliminate 72 units from the beginning inventory layer at $12 per unit. Cost of goods sold, $864. Of the 80 units in beginning inventory, we've eliminated 72, leaving us with 8. When we subtract $864 from 960, the inventory is $96. March 14th, purchased 200 units at $17 per unit. A purchase adds both units and dollars to our T accounts. When we add $3,400, the balance in inventory increases to $3,496. March 15th, sell 150 units at $40 per unit. As of March 15th, the last 115 units to come in were the units purchased the day before at $17 per unit. We expense 115 units at $17 per unit, leaving us with 85 units of the purchase from March 14th. Cost of goods sold, 115 multiplied by 17 is 1,955. 
and when we subtract 1,955 from 3,496, inventory drops to 1,541. July 30th purchased 320 units at $22 per unit. We add the units to the units T account and the dollars to the dollar T account. When we add 7,040 to 1,541, inventory increases to 8,581. October 5th, we sell 240 units. As of October 5th, the last 240 units to come in were from the batch purchased on July 30th. 240 units are expensed at $22 per unit. Of the 320 units, 80 units remain. Cost of goods sold, 240 multiplied by 22 is 5,280. When we subtract 5,280 from 8,581, inventory is 3,301. October 26th, 480 units are purchased at $27 per unit, adding $12,960 to the inventory value. We add 480 units at 27 and $12,960. When we add 12960 to 3301 inventory has increased to 16261 Total cost of goods sold for the period, $8,099. Requirement 3 asks us to compute the gross margin for FIFO and LIFO. Gross margin is calculated by taking sales and subtracting cost of goods sold. 427 units are sold at $40 per unit, sales of $17,080. Cost of goods sold using FIFO was determined to be $7,594. Gross profit, $9,486. LIFO, the sales would be the same amount, but cost of goods sold would be different. We calculated cost of goods sold to be $8,099. Gross profit drops to 8981